I'm Varsha and you're watching this video from justutors.com and in this video we are going to learn about how to represent rational numbers on a number line. So this is the objective of the day that how to represent rational number on a number line but before moving to our today's topic we'll try a warm-up question and this is a warm-up question for you. To try the question you can pause the video. So basically in this question you need to circle the positive rational numbers. So this is a positive rational number. This is a positive rational number. And these two are the positive rational numbers. So in total we are having four rational numbers which are positive rational numbers out of these eight rational numbers. Now we move ahead to our topic which is representing rational number on a number line. So first of all we learn that all the numbers on the right hand side of a number line to the zero are positive numbers and that we call as positive direction as well and all the numbers on the left hand side in the number line to the zero are negative numbers and it is known as negative direction where O or we can say the zero is the origin from where we start. Similarly we follow the rule on the rational number while representing that on a number line. So for a rational number this is a number line and as you can see that this number line is divided into four equal part and it is from zero to one. So the rational number in between would be one over four, two over four, three over four and four over four which is same as one. Here it is divided into three equal parts that means we need to find it like one over three, two over three, 3 over 3 which is same as 1. So these two rational numbers lies between 0 and 1. These three rational numbers lies between 0 and 1 again. In this manner we'll try some questions. Here are the questions for you. To try these questions you can pause the video. So in this question as we can see that the number line is divided into 4 equal parts. So here it is 3 over 4. Here the number line is divided into two equal parts, it would be 1 over 2. Here we need to represent a number which is 3 over 5 on a number line. That means we need to divide the number line in five equal parts between 0 to 1. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the rational number would be 1 over 5 here, 2 over 5 here, 3 over 5 here, 4 over 5 here and here it is 5 over 5 which is same as 1. So 3 over 5 is somewhere here on the number line. Now we move ahead and we are going to learn how to represent negative numbers on the number line. In the same manner we represent the positive numbers, we represent the negative number in the same way. But make sure that it should be on the left hand side of the number line and you need to put the negative sign along with it. So we need to represent 5 over 3, that means it is bigger than 1. So it's minus 1 and minus 2. So it's minus 1 here if it is 0 here. Say it is minus 2 over here. So it is somewhere here and it is divided into 3 equal parts. So we can say it starting from here minus 1 over 3, minus 2 over 3, minus 3 over 3 is minus 1, minus 4 over 3, minus 5 over 3 and minus 6 over 3 is minus 2. So minus 5 over 3 somewhere here on the number line. Now we move ahead to the practice question. Here is the question for you. To try the question you can pause the video. So as you can see that in this question we need to mark this number line. This rational numbers on the number line. Here is the number line being given to you. Say it is 0 here and then we'll divide it so we'll find minus 2 over 4 somewhere on the left hand side 3 over 8 somewhere on the right hand side 1 over 4 again somewhere on the right hand side so you can use the method and you can then represent these numbers on the number line thank you for watching the video for more please visit justutors.com